Hi, this is James Devine. Everybody has a story. What is yours? I remember as a young man being extremely offended that to become president of the United States, you had to be 35 years old. What kind of unfairness about age was this that was, that was happening? I thought if I ever get to a point where I could change that, I would. And then I became 35 years old. And I thought to myself, as I was wiser and older, 35 is way too young to be able to run the country with the wisdom that it would that it would take. And now I'm 51. And if I could change that law, I still would, except I would make the minimum age 60 or 70. My point of that story is that we all grow in our experiences throughout life. And you look at country musicians, jazz musicians, many of them don't even reach the pinnacle of their success until they're 50 years old or more. Why? Because they've experienced a lot of life. And now in that life, the problems, the joys, the tribulations, the triumphs, the mountains they've overcome, the valleys that they've lived in, throughout that life, now they have a story to tell that's just welling up outside of their heart and spirit and coming out in their music. I think it's the same in writing a book. It's not that a young person can't write a book. So if you're a young person listening to this, go for it. I believe everybody should write a book. You might sell 10 copies. You might sell a thousand copies. You might sell a million copies. I have six books out and I have sold probably about 500 copies. But my first book, I didn't write until 2012. And that was the book about my life experiences. It's, it's basically a biography and it's about my journey to forgiveness after being molested by a friend of the family. That book is called Forgive One Man's Story of Being Molested and God's Redemption. My very first book. I made so many mistakes with it, but it's out there now. It's been blessing people. That's the one I've probably sold about 200 copies of that one. My next book, that, so that first one took me nine months to write. My next book also took me about nine months to write. And that one is a hundred short stories of my experiences of being a musician. And it's called The Saxophone Diaries, Stories and Tips from My 30 Years in Music. I wrote an, a short ebook called Go Ahead, Make My Day, 39 Ways to Make Someone's Day. Also wrote an instructional book. This was my quickest book. It took me about three days to write. But if you think about it, it, it came from a lifetime of experience of being a musician. It came from 30 years of being a musician. It's called 40 Ways to Make Money as a Musician. Two years ago, my mom had a stroke. And it was a tough time in my life and in my wife's life dealing with all the the issues that came up out of that. She's doing much better now, has recovered probably about 80 or 90% from where she was before. But I wrote a book to help other people going through that same thing. It's called A Stroke of Bad Luck. And then my most recent book was another fun one that went together pretty quickly because it was, I took notes throughout the last four years. I kind of planned this book and took notes and tried different things, but it's called 40 Cheap Dates and why you should take them. So those are the, the six books that I've written. I also wrote a seventh book. I won't mention the, the title of it because that one was a complete flop. It was actually my true second book, but I did not give much thought to it and it was too narrow of a audience. And so I actually took that book, doubled it in size with more stories. And that's the one that became The Saxophone Diaries. You have a story to tell, and I am hoping that with this course, you will be motivated and find the time and find the resources you need to get your book in print and out to people that it can benefit. Enjoy the course.